as is cash offers only. Like I said, you want to walk it? Awesome. I will get you in there. Hit my team up, sales at HoltonWise.com. We will let you get in there as early as today. 1132 Upton Boulevard. I'm going to look around with y'all, but I want to put my throw back because I don't need it. I'm going to try to open that front door. Well, I guess we got to go around. Yeah, knock and see. All right, boys, so neighbor said there might be squatters. Y'all all ready? Yep, let's roll. Crackhead done deal, dude. Hello, anybody home? Hello. You might think it makes sense to dip your toe in the water. Less money means less risk. But in, in real estate, uh, in housing and things of that nature, it's like totally inverse, right? It's completely flipped. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, saying it's selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. What is up, y'all? Today, we're going to be going over a Section 8 rehab deal, right? Section 8 rehab deal, the property. 1132 Upton Ave, Toledo, Ohio, right? This sucker coming to you guys at $13,900. Now, this one, this is a good one for experienced home renovators, experienced Section 8 landlords, things of that nature, right? I would say that this is probably not the best type of investment property for brand new investors out there, right? I'm a person uh, that when I talk to you guys and I teach you guys how to invest in real estate, how to make money in real estate, um, very much so a walk before you can run uh, type person, type investor, right? And I know a lot of people, right? They're going to look at the purchase price. They're going to be like, well, dude, it's perfect for me just getting started, James. It's only $13,900, man. I should probably buy a $13,000 house because it's less risky than buying a $100,000 house. I see where you're coming from. And if you're, you know, looking at things, you might think it makes sense to dip your toe in the water. Less money means less risk. But in, in real estate, uh, in housing and things of that nature, it's like totally inverse, right? It's completely flipped. In this scenario, in the real estate world where I'm from, in the renovating houses world, in the chasing tenants down for rent, in the Section 8 world, right? That whole world that I live, eat, sleep, and breathe uh, it's going to be the opposite, right? A $13,000 property is going to be the highest level of risk because as you can see, this particular property is is jacked up, right? It's going to need a full rehab, right? You can buy it for thirteen nine, dollars yes, uh, but you're probably going to need to put, oh, I don't know, anywhere from like thirty-five to $40,000 into this thing uh, to get it Section 8 rent ready, ready for tenants. And in my opinion, Section 8, uh, is the perfect thing, the perfect strategy, almost the only realistic strategy that you could utilize in this type of neighborhood, right? This is like a lower income neighborhood, right? So when we're in these lower income neighborhoods in Toledo, y'all, what we got to do is we got to focus on the Section 8 tenants, right? So if you're in Toledo and you got a lot of lower income neighborhoods out there in Toledo, right? So you got a lot of folks uh, that, that it's difficult running their properties, right? Being their property manager, being their landlord, things of that nature, right? The biggest issue you run to run into with the low income folks out there in Toledo is uh, just not making rent, right? You're chasing them down for rent all the time, right? And then when you don't have your tenant paying rent, what do you got to do? Well, you got to evict your tenant. And then after you evict your tenant, your house goes vacant. And then your house is vacant in kind of a sketchy neighborhood for a little while. And then what happens? Well, it ends up looking like this house looks right now, right? It's vacant for a long time. Uh, landlords, they get tired. They kind of give up thieves will come in they will steal the copper right copper is a big target for thieves in low-income neighborhoods you might be like why what do a bunch of dudes living in low-income neighborhoods need copper for what are they gonna do with the copper they're gonna smoke the copper they're gonna snort the copper they're gonna inject the copper y'all they're gonna they're gonna take the they're gonna as it was like a joke. They're going to take the copper, right? They, they take the copper uh, to the local scrapyard. And then the scrapyard gives them money, money for drugs that they could either smoke, snort, or inject. That's where I was going with that. It's not like Terminator. It's not like liquid fucking metal that they're, you know, injecting liquid metal like the freaking liquid Terminator. That would be wild. No, no, no. But you get people... Uh, that they will break into these homes and they'll trash them and they'll jack them up and they will steal 
anything that can be scrapped for drug money, right? So it's tough. And what you could do, though, what seasoned investors do, what uh, uh, hardened uh, landlords who've been in the game for a very long time, what they know, what they understand is if you get Section 8 tenants in your properties, y'all, you eliminate almost all those problems, right? Because all those problems of not collecting rent, right? They all derive from not collecting rent. Once the rent doesn't get paid, that's when you have to do the eviction. That's when you get the vacancy. That's when the copper thieves come in, right? If you never missed a rent payment, you never have to go through that downward spiral and have your property look like this $13,000 dog, right? So what I want to see out there is my buyers who know what they're doing, investors who know how to renovate these houses, who have a team in place, who have their property management on lock, whether it's them themselves doing it or they have a local team of hourly employees, right? If you're one of those folks that looking at Toledo as a turnkey market to get turnkey investments, that's awesome. That's great. What I want you to do is click the notes below this video and book a free call with my team to talk to us how we can help you invest in turnkey properties in Toledo. We can absolutely help you do that. But I will tell you, as a turnkey investor, this is really not going to be your bag. This is really going to be an investment for those folks that have dealt with big rehabs, that know what they're doing, uh, that know the Section 8 process in and out and have their own boots on the ground team. Because I'll tell you what, guys, if you're an out-of-state investor and you're brand new to the game and you're just looking to do turnkey in Euclid, or I mean, I'm sorry, turnkey in Toledo, you're not going to easily be able to just come in here and just randomly hire contractors off of Facebook or YouTube or, or wherever and then randomly outsource your PM to a third-party PM. It, it's just it's too difficult of a rehab, too difficult of a neighborhood. It's just not going to work for you, right? If you're having to pay third-party co uh, companies full freight, it's just not going to make sense, right? Like the locals and the people with their own team and their own company and their own infrastructure built up, like I said, they could probably renovate this for 35 to 40, maybe even less, maybe like 25 uh, to 40, somewhere in that range. Whereas if you're paying uh, third-party companies to do everything for you, you're probably going to be 40 and up, right? So 25 to 40 is much better than 40 and up, right? Like if you end up spending $60,000 renovating this and then you don't have solid PM in place, it's going to be a tough, difficult investment, right? And uh, that's what this is, right? So circling back to the original point I was trying to make as I was talking to you guys about this property, because that's what I like to do, right? We offer properties for sale, but I, of course, would like to educate you guys, right? I want all the folks out there that are going to be investing in Toledo to know Toledo on the inside, the outside. I want you guys to be an educated group of investors. I don't want you guys just coming from out of state, seeing markets in Ohio like Toledo, and you're like, oh my God, it's so cheap. I can't lose money. You can lose money. It's very difficult. It's a very difficult neighborhood to invest. I mean, shit, Toledo's sitting smack dab in the middle of Detroit. Detroit and Cleveland, folks. If you're on the national scale looking at the news, has anybody ever talked about Detroit and Cleveland not being kind of sketchy? You know what I'm saying? Well, you're right in the middle of those things, right? So things can and do go wrong, right? So what I like to do is let everybody know exactly what they're getting themselves into because I believe that every property could be a good deal if it's bought by the right person at the right price at the right time uh, with the right financing in place. In this case, there will be no financing. you got to pay for it cash, but there will be financing after because this thing would roll great as a bird deal after you refight it out, after you slapped a Section 8 tenant in there. I mean, dude, you get a Section 8 tenant and this sucker fully rehabbed when you're ready to go, you'll refi this out and... You'll probably get the majority of your money back because, I mean, dude, you're going to have a $1,200 rental, right? So from here, folks, uh, we just need your bids, right? Cash offers only, as is offers only. Uh, if before uh, you'd like to place your bid, you would like to physically tour the property so you can put together your scope of work and figure out exactly what you need to do to renovate the sucker, no problem. Email my team, sales at holtonweiss.com. Because what we're not going to do is we're not going to accept any bids contingent on an inspection or contingent on your contractor walk through. I want you to walk through it. I want your inspector to walk, walk through it. I want your contractor to walk through it. But you got to do all that shit why it's on the market because we're not fucking pulling it off the market why you jerk off and figure out if you want to buy it or not okay everything is out here for you on the table as open and transparent as possible so do all your due diligence and then after that you could submit your offer to us sales at holtonwise.com as is cash offers only like i said you want to walk it awesome i will get you in there hit my team up sales at holtonwise.com we will let you get in there as early as today uh, but then after that, 
I want a no-nonsense, no BS offer. Let's go. We shove this sign. Up in here, up in here. Man, you got Look at me, shove this sign. Up in here, up in here. It's the only spot that's gonna fucking fit. Damn, dude. Your foundation is rocked, my guy. 1132 Upton Boulevard. I'm gonna look around with y'all, but I wanna put my drill back. Cause I don't need it. I'm gonna try to open that front door. This is locked. That one's locked. Okay. Well, I guess we gotta go around. Yeah, knock and see. Watch your step. There's that big hole here, guys. Who's that? He's getting tripped up by the ghouls. All right, boys. So neighbor said there might be squatters. Y'all ready? Yep, let's roll. Crackhead done deal, okay? Hello, anybody home? Hello? Anybody in here? We're filming on behalf of the owner. It only looks a little spooky. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.